You are watching today another huge development in the parliamentary crisis engulfing the Morrison government. The PM now set to sideline embattled ministers Christian Porter and Lyndon Reynolds, who both remain on leave. But will it be enough to reset the political agenda? He's under the pump, isn't he, the PM? Let's discuss with Tasmanian Senator Jackie Lambie and from 4BC and 2GB. It's good morning to Chris Smith. Morning. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you. Jackie, to you first of all. They had to go, didn't they? Oh, yeah, he needs to clear the decks. Um, it's such a distraction up here at the moment. Um, you know, we're coming out of COVID. There's a lot of economic moves that need to be made. I think the last thing that the Prime Minister needs to be doing right now is carrying this burden around on his shoulders. Clear the decks. Uh, let's have a fresh start, a fresh day, um, so he can get moving. But right now, I think having this hanging over his head is just suffocating him, and I'm sure that he doesn't want it. Um, I think, you know, it's very difficult. You know, when you have people like that, you have served with them for a long time. It's difficult to make that move, but he has no choice. Choice. And for, I think for his own benefit, um, just so he can get on with running the country, clear the decks, mate. Let's get on with it. Yeah, I mean, you said this, Jackie, um, I think two weeks ago, that, that he should have done this, and, and yeah. it still hasn't happened. Mm. Um, I'm not sure why there's been a delay. No, I don't know why there's been a delay either. Like I said, it is difficult. Uh, you do get close to your own colleagues, um, so that's that's probably one thing. Um, you know, I just think sometimes as a leader, you've just got to make those decisions, make them quick and, and move it on. Um, but the best thing that he could do is clear those decks, take that pressure off himself and let's move it. OK, the reality is um, none of this is going to end for the Prime Minister, no matter what he does at the moment. Right, Chris? No, but it's physical. You can yeah. actually see it. You, yeah. can, you can see the Prime Minister say, we're going to change a culture, we've got to do it inside this house and outside the house. You can hear those words, but you're not seeing anything. At least you can see the two ministers, mm. one who's got physical and mental problems right now and Lisa Reynolds, will be pushed aside. She won't be standing at that main bench. Yeah. And Porter won't be the Attorney General. That landed in the Prime Minister's lap because once you sta start taking defamation action against the ABC in the courts mm. and he's in charge of the courts, there's a conflict of interest. So it's fallen in his lap. So we will see something physical, but there's more to be done. He's making errors. Um, and, and I think main, perhaps they're related to the sheer amount of work that he's been doing uh, and the fact that he can't quite um, grasp why he doesn't have control uh, of this situation. Um, he's bouncing around, he's getting emotional, um, and then he's getting upset. Um, he's firing up, he's firing back, um, and he doesn't have control over this. I don't think he does. Jackie, you mentioned this to me when we spoke on Sunday night. You said that he'd had a hell of a year. Mm. It's very emotional. I've never seen you lay off the Prime Minister more than you did when we chatted on Sunday night. Yeah, I, I am really concerned. I don't think he deals with the emotional stuff. Look, we all have our weaknesses. There's mm. no, no problem there. I think that comes down to a lot of life experience um, for, uh, for me, which unfortunately fortunately for me, I have that in strengths. But, you know, where he has strengths, I have weaknesses. So there's, mm. there's no problem there. Um, most guys don't deal with this. And I'm, I'm trying to be as politely as I can with the, with the gentleman out there, yeah, the Australian men. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Carl. Not you, Carl. <laughs> You're an emotional mess. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think that, um, oh. yeah, it's something, something that sort of grows on you as you, um, as you walk, walk through life and, but, but, and when you've had slap downs and that, that, that brings that emotional stability out. You can handle it better. And, uh, uh, and, I, and I see it. I think, I think anyone who's been through anything can see that, that he's struggling. But he's the Prime Minister and, and his leadership style is to lead from the front and, and to not take breaks and, and for it all to rise and fall on him. And it's taking a toll. It's pretty clear. And, he, and three yeah. questions in that la not second last press conference when Andrew Clonell had a go at him about whether he should go because of all this happening under his watch and he lost it then. Then on three occasions he couldn't remember the questions that were just asked yep. by the reporters. Yeah, he probably needs a break. Maybe he should head to Hawaii or something. for Probably. Time. Hawaii? Mm. Nah. Um, the PM is now waking up to yet more pressure to boost female representation in Parliament. The Australian has spoken to a dozen Liberal backbenchers who all say it's time for women quotas. I mean, this is all coming off the back of everything. Um, Jackie, are you a fan of this now? Um, I've never been a fan no. of it. I have to. I, I judge people on their own merits, you know. Even though at the moment I must say I have 80% female representation in my office, um, but I, I it is based. I base it on merit and how good you are at your job. But there needed um, to be there needed yet. to be change here, didn't there? There needed to be. I mean, clearly there have been women inside the Liberal Party fighting for quotas for for years, and they haven't been heard by their own party. And then suddenly this happens, and suddenly they're front page of the Australian. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean just because you have a female leader, she's going to listen to the females either, Carl. So, you know, for me, I, it does not come down to, to quotas. It comes okay. down to who's best at the job. That's a no from Jackie. You, Chris? No, quotas. I hate it. Look, there are, there's evidence. There's about 10 countries in the world that have more than 50% female representation in their parliaments. 
nothing ever changes. There's still the controversies. Cultural there's still the there's still the the rumours about drastic things happening. And in the case of Miss Higgins, it was in a female. MP's office, she was adjudicated and was, was dealt with by two other females. It wasn't as if there weren't enough females in that particular cultural office. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's huge issues that they need to work through um, culturally. Um, they're, they're at sixes and sevens at the moment. They've got a lot to do. Um, here's one to end on. A, a huge debate raging across Australia. An online petition, a petition rather, get this, from, from a gay man, um, I should say, to rebrand the classic Aussie ice cream Golden Gay Time. Because he says that in 2021 the name is now outdated and offensive. Well, I say no, no, no. It's time to stop this cancel culture. I mean, for goodness sake, I'm drawing the line at an ice cream. And like millions of Australians, I love a gay time. I love a gay time. How can a name born in the innocence of the 1950s be offensive? It's ridiculous. I mean, we've got, just as an example, um, the, the beautiful man who does my hair in the morning, Morgan. Um, I want to ask him what he thinks of, of gay time being renamed. Uh, what do you think, Morgan? What is it about me that makes you think I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> you asked the question. <laughs> I'm sorry, Morgan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Australia. <laughs> Leave the ice creams alone in Morgan. Oh. He's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank Jackie, quickly. No? Uh, yeah, so I think you could probably do a little bit more, um, less ice cream for your waistline cover. Oh. That's my first thing. Oh, that's not that. And um, my second thing is, what about all the women out there where their first names are gay? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. This they'll is be, going way over the line. Yeah. They'll, they'll be getting right up Dairy Queen next. You watch. <laughs> <laughs>